Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to our esteemed speakers, invited guests of honor, and each and every one of you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the official signing ceremony of the Memorandum of Understanding between the City Council of Petaling Jaya, City Councils of Subang Jaya, the City Council of Shah Alam, the University of Malaya, the National Cancer Society of Malaysia, and the City Cancer Challenge Foundation. So to all our special guests joining us here today and watching live on Facebook, a very warm welcome to all of you from Malaysia. So my name is Kenneth, and I have the honor to serve you as the moderator for today's ceremony. I represent one of the signature organizations, the National Cancer Society of Malaysia, which is the country's first non-for-profit organization, uh, cancer organization. Today, indeed, is a special day in which we formalize a milestone agreement to fulfill the goal of advancing cancer care for the people of Greater Pataling. A particular thanks to YB Dr. Siti Maria Bindi Magmo, Slango State Executive Councillor for Health, Women and Family Empowerment, as well as the Chair of City Executive Committee, or CEC in short, of Greater Pataling for hosting us today. This afternoon, we will have the opportunity to hear remarks and words from a number of signatories, as well as local and international leaders in cancer care before the signing ceremony. To start proceeding, we'd like to invite Dr. Sri Yusuf Haji Abdul Wahab, Surgeon and National Head of Clinical Service for General Surgery, Ministry of Health, and a member of the City Executive Committee of Greater Petaling to let us in a prayer. Over to you, Dr. Sri. Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Let's start our prayers with reading the Umul Kitab, Al Fatiha. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahmanirrahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyya kana mudu wa iyya kana sta'in. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-lazina an-amta alayhim ghayri al-mahdubi alayhim wa ladhalilin. Ameen. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Hamdayu afi ni'ma wa yuka fi mazidah. Ya Rabbana laka alhamdu wa laka al-shukru kama yambaghi li jalali wajhika al-karimi wa azimi sultanik. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala adi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Ya Allah, Ya Tuhan kami, hanya padamu sahaja kami memanjat kesyukuran ke atas segala limpah rahmat dan berkatmu. Sesungguhnya pada hari ini kami telah berkumpul dan berhimpun keranamu dengan tujuan meningkatkan lagi mutu dan kualiti perkhidmatan dan kebajikan ke atas pesakit-pesakit kanser di negara ini. Allahumma ya hamidu ya majid. Kami menadah tangan, bermunajat, memohon inayah dan taufikmu agar majlis menandatangani perjanjian persah, persefahaman di antara Majlis Bandaraya Petaling Jaya, Majlis Bandaraya Subang Jaya, Majlis Bandaraya Shah Alam, National Cancer Society Malaysia, University Malaya dan City Cancer Challenge Foundation ini memperolehi keberkatan dan keredaanmu, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Limpahkanlah ilmu pengetahuan yang luas agar kami dapat menyumbang kepada bangsa dan negara kami khususnya di dalam bidang merawat penyakit kanser. Kami mohon kepadamu, Ya Allah, agar engkau jadikan majlis ini sebagai titik permulaan kejayaan di dalam usaha kami bagi memberi perkhidmatan yang terbaik dan memberi manfaat kepada pesakit-pesakit kami. Ya Allah, Ya Zal Jalali Wal Ikram, kami mohon kekuatan dari kehadratmu, Ya Allah, supaya kami dapat melaksanakan segala tugas, tanggungjawab dan kebajikan secara konsisten dan efisien. Dan kami pohon petunjuk dari engkau untuk mengatasi segala rintangan. Rabbana atina fid dunia hasanah wa fil akhirati hasanah wa kina azaban nar. Amin, amin, amin. Wahai Rasubahana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun. Wassalamun ala al-mursalina walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Thank you very much, Dr. Sri Yusuf, for leading the prayers in blessings today event. City Cancer Challenge, or CCAM in short, is dedicated to support cities around the world to improve equitable access to cancer care for all. To learn more about this piece of important work, I invite CCAM Regional Director for Asia, Dr. Aung Nang So, to tell us more about this. 
The floor is yours, Dr. Al. Good afternoon, everyone from Yango, Myanmar. Firstly, I would like to thank Why We Doubt City Maria for hosting the very important milestone. It is my pleasure to provide a brief presentation about City Cancer Challenge and the next steps, designing step forward in the second Greater Petaline journey. Next slide, please. Second Leads is a city-based partnership initiative that aims to improve access to quality cancer care in city around the world by transforming the way stakeholders from the public and private sectors collectively design, plan, and implement the cancer solution. Cancer is a complex disease. Next slide, please. Cancer is a complex disease, and we have to start somewhere. Working at the city level allowed us to leverage the innovation and leadership that is already happening in cities on other complex issues. CCAN is currently supporting nine cities around the world, from Asia, Greater Petaline from Malaysia, and Yangon from Myanmar. CCAN put out a global call last year for application for cities to join and be a CCAN city of tomorrow. CCAN will be welcoming new cities over the coming years with the potential to reach many more millions of people through our models to improve access to quality cancer care. Next slide, please. Second approach is based on the core principle that city can drive embed at national level by crafting data-driven solutions with the support of a network of global, regional, and local partners that reflect an understanding of the unique local context. The power is in the partnerships. Through our inclusive partnership, we learn, evolve, and deliver value together. The participation of people affected by cancer is embedded in our process. This helps to ensure that we respond to the needs of those most affected people. Second process will generate knowledge, insights, and quality data to better inform decision-making on our cancer care and treatment, which will empower action planning, project planning, implementation, and the project sustainability. Next slide, please. Second currently work with over 70 global partners from different sectors, over 1,000 hacker professionals from Seekan cities are contributing to over 51 projects. Ultimately, Seekan is reaching more than 54 million people through our models. Next slide, please. Seekan city process will be implemented over two years with six steps. That is due diligence, stakeholder engagement, need assessment, action plan, implementation planning, and implementation. The sustainability planning of the project will be integrated throughout the Seekan city process. Next slide, please. Currently, the Seagan Greater Bitterly has completed the initial stakeholder mapping, and we have created a multi-sectoral city executive committee members with 18 members. We have also identified a leader of the technical committees who will lead the citywide needs assessment of cancer care in the Greater Bitterly City. The committee role is to help identify the priority challenges, problems, and solutions that will address the cancer care needs of the Greater Battalion City. The Situation Analysis Report will be generated and shared with the stakeholders and partners to, to inform the action plan for the implementation of the prioritized project. CGAN will engage with the city, with the CGAN network of partners and identify local sustainable partners to provide technical support with those identified projects to improve the equitable access to the quality cancer care. So uh, thank you. Uh, next slide. So through we are only at the start. The initial steps have already been made, and we look forward to the continuing this collaboration. And thank you so much again. And may I hand over back to Kenneth. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ang. Yep. Thank you, Dr. Ang, for these excellent introductions to see Ken. It is certainly an exciting time for Greater Pataling to join this initiative the growing moment for the cities who are prioritizing equitable access to quality cancer care. I would now like to invite the host of our today, YB Dr. Siti Maria Binti Makmo, the Slango State's Executive Counselor for Health, Women and Family Empowerment, as well as the Chair of the City Executive Committee of Greater Pataling, to provide us with your opening remark. Over to you, YB Dr. Siti Maria. Thank you, Kenneth. Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera and a very good day to all of you. Professor Sanchia Aranda, Chair of Board Directors, City Cancer Challenge Foundation, 
Dr. Susan Hanshaw, CEO, City Cancer Challenge Foundation. TPR, Haja Sharifah Marhaini binti Syed Ali, Deputy Mayor of Petaling Jaya. TPR, um, Haja Noraini binti Haji Roslan, Mayor of Subang Jaya. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Haji Zamani Ahmad bin Mansor, Mayor of Shah Alam. Datuk Dr. Santari Soma Sundaram, National Council National Cancer Society of Malaysia, Professor Nur Saadah Abdul Rahman, Vice Chancellor of University Malaya, Research for Research and Innovation, Dr. Ong Neng Su, Regional Director for Asia, City Cancer Challenge Foundation, uh, City Executive Committee members, all representatives from local and global agencies, organizations, and NGOs. It is a great pleasure to open the City Cancer Challenge Memorandum of Understanding signing ceremony today in the presence of all the signatories, City Executive Committee members and all the distinguished guests from both local and international agencies, organizations and NGOs. I welcome our international partner, the City Cancer Challenge Foundation, who is supporting cities around the world to improve equitable access to cancer care for all through a network of local and international partners. We look forward to our collaboration with CityCan's network of motivated partners across the globe. I would like to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of the host state government of Salamo for the substantial efforts made by all parties concern in making this event a success. Ladies and gentlemen, Greater Pataling, uh, Greater Pataling's journey to the City Cancer Challenge, I would like to uh, relate a little bit uh, for what happened, how this journey started in Malaysia. Um, there is a verse in the Al-Quran that says that, he said, the power in which my Lord has established me is better than tribute. Help me, therefore, with strength and labor. I will erect a strong barrier between you and them. Such an attitude is also traceable in the history of a great leader, Zulkarnain, as been recorded in the verse I recited just now. Whenever a group of people pleaded to him, he assertively responded. What my Lord has provided for me is far better, but assist me with resources and I will build a barrier between you and them. So Zukarnai's response evinces the message that we as leaders in whatever capacities should always prioritize on our own contribution to the society rather than what we could get from the society for our own interest. Greater Pataling's participation in SICAN reinforces a shared commitment by the state government of Slamo and the signatories to improve the health of our citizens. This MOU brings us one, one, one critical step closer to meeting the urgent challenge of reducing the cancer burden in our cities and country. Journey taken by Malaysia began in 2018 where the National Cancer Society of Malaysia hosted the World Cancer Congress in Kuala Lumpur. University of Malaya, National Cancer Society of Malaysia, with the support of the Chief Minister of Slamo, Director General of Health of the Ministry of Health of Malaysia, and the city mayors, responded to the call to action to join the City Cancer Challenge Network of Cities. It was very privileged to support this application and in October 2019, Greater Pataling was announced at the, as the second city in Asia to join the City Cancer Challenge. Greater Pataling is the ninth city to join CCAN from across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Greater Pataling is the extension of areas within and around the district of Pataling, covering the state of Selangor, Wilaya Pesekutuan, and Wilayah Persekutuan Putrajaya. The central region of Malaysia has the largest concentration of oncology and subspecialty surgeons and practitioners treating cancer. We believe this provides opportunities to innovate and advance with equitable access and sustainable high-quality cancer care, leaving no one behind. 
Selangor has the second highest number of new cases reported by the National Cancer Registry from 2012 to 2016. And breast cancer is the most common cancer, where one in five cancer patients is a breast cancer patient. Providing and financing quality treatments are complex, requiring multidisciplinary team of primary care doctors, specialists, subspecialists, and allied healthcare professionals. Cancer treatments are not only treated in hospitals with oncology services, but in most hospitals. However, the disparity of specialist and subspecialist care in public versus private hospitals are humbling. Cancer treatments. 63% of oncologists and 78% of esophagus and stomach cancer specialist surgeons are in the private sector. Equitable access to psychosocial and supportive services are also very scarce with a lack of career pathways for allied healthcare professionals in the public sector. Through CCAN's robust and evidence-based model, we will work towards strengthening greater battalion's capacity and leadership to design, develop, and implement cancer care solutions that meet the needs of the population of greater battalion. Steering this city initiative is an 18 member city executive committee chaired by myself. The CEC is multi sectoral and multidisciplinary, spanning healthcare professionals, policy experts city representatives, financing experts within the public and private sectors. Supporting the CEC will be four technical committees made up by experts to provide technical support and expertise to the CCAN city projects, addressing the identified cancer care challenges and the needs of the city. We welcome 75 hospitals in private, public Ministry of Health, and university hospitals, NGOs, and city and government agencies that influence cancer care to embark with us on this journey to improve up, to improving quality care for the Malaysian public. Ladies and gentlemen, the Slamo State Government is always committed in its efforts to be a party that complements the efforts of the Ministry of Health Malaysia in providing health services, especially to cancer patients. Thus, the state government has started several programs such as free breast cancer screening program called MAMUSEL. And we also have Selangor Health Assistance Program of Bantuan Sehat Selangor. And we also have started Man Care Program that is awareness among male family members and society in assisting to conduct initial cancer screening on their wives and relatives. Under Bantuan Sehat Selangor, the state government has schemes offering up to RM5000 for each patient in the B40 category, which is the 40% bottom low income group. The state has allocated RM5 million for this scheme, and patients can apply for funds for kidney dialysis, prosthetic prosthetics, minor surgery, eye cataract operation, physiotherapy treatment, and other hospital recommended needs, including cancer treated assistance. Before I conclude, I would like to congratulate all the agencies and institutions for organizing these events. This collaborative effort, I must say, is commendable and should be continued in future. I wish all of you the best. And I hope that all these efforts will benefit the people of Slam. Thank you. Back to Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, YB Dr. Siti Mara, for the inspir inspiring message. And now we are very privileged to hear from our next speaker, Professor Sancha Aranda. Professor Aranda is the chair of CCAN Boards of Directors, a professor at both the University of Melbourne and the Peter McAllen Cancer Center. She's also a prominent and highly respected expert in cancer care. And today, she's joining us from Australia. Please, Professor Aranda, over to you. Thank you, Kenneth. And Salamat Patel. I'm absolutely delighted to share this moment with you all today, to see your faces and to hear your experiences, even if we can't be 
gathering in person. I have such fond memories of my time in Malaysia for the UACC conference and would have loved to have been there with you. This is an important day. The signing of this memorandum of understanding is a symbolic first step in improving the lives and health of the people of Greater Petaling. It commits all of us to a collective effort to meet the Sustainable Development Goals, most particularly SDG 3, which seeks to address good health and well-being for all. SDG SDG 11, to make cities resilient and sustainable, and SDG 17, which aims at strengthening partnerships to achieve these goals. This agreement will also foster progress towards the global target of reducing premature deaths from non-communicable diseases, including cancer, by 25% by 2025. These are ambitious but worthwhile goals. We are encouraged by cities like Greater Petaling who are not shying away from the challenge but are approaching it with positivity and passion. To achieve the objectives set out in the MOU, we must place our focus on the whole systems approach, considering the six building blocks of a health system, including health services, technologies, the workforce, information, financing and governance. Success requires multi-sectoral collaboration at all levels to reach across and beyond the health system. We must be led by evidence. To make the greatest impact, we need knowledge and data to inform our decision-making. And throughout all this, we must always place patients at the core of every cancer care solution if we are ever to close the global equity divide in cancer outcomes. The agreement being signed here today stresses the importance of a city-led approach to meet local priorities. Cities are best placed to translate global and national commitments to, into concrete actions while taking account of the city context and needs. One of the greatest lessons we have learned working with CCAN's nine cities is that local ownership is critical to the enduring success of this initiative. To that end, CCAN is committed to supporting you, the city and people of Greater Petaling, to create an empowering environment that will fuel and shape the future of cancer care for the people in your city, your state and country. Terima. Thank you. Many thanks to Professor Aranda for this resounding message. Our next speaker is Dr. Susan Henshaw, the CEO of City Cancer Challenge. So Dr. Henshaw has led a translational cancer research laboratory at the Garvin Institute of Medical Research in Australia. She has also held appointments at the University of New South Wales and Georgetown University. Today, she speaks with us all the way connecting from Geneva, Switzerland. Dr. Henshaw, the floor is yours. Thank you, Kenneth, and good afternoon, everyone. I am so happy to see you here today. I would like to very much thank and extend my sincerest respects to our host today, YB City Mariah Binti Malmud, Executive Councillor for Health, Women and Family Empowerment for the State of Selangor. To the city and state leaders and authorities present here today, I would also like to send my sincerest thanks to the MOU signatories, to our special guests, to the members of the City Executive Committee of Greater Petaling, partners and stakeholders, healthcare professionals, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great privilege to be part of this momentous occasion to officially mark our joint commitment to advancing cancer care in Greater Petaling. Today's event is particularly significant given the extraordinary global health crisis of this past year. Evidence of Greater Petaling's commitment to prioritising the health of its citizens you have adapted and created opportunities amongst the many challenges to prepare for today. This is an inspiring start to Greater Peddling's participation 
in the CCAN city process. Greater Pedaling is the second city in Asia to join CCAN's growing network of nine cities. And we are proud to deepen our engagement in the region. With Greater Pedaling, we have three cities coming together for the first time to pay, take part in the CCAN initiative. It shows a true willingness for cooperation to achieve the common goal of improving access to quality cancer care and treatment. We are inspired by your continued commitment to respond to the rising burden of cancer. You have set a strong foundation for success. Malaysia has the building blocks of a health system firmly in place. Greater Petaling can be proud of its rich technological capacity and innovative mindset. These are invaluable assets that will help to strengthen and advance cancer care that will meet the unique needs of your city and your people. This MOU is more than a piece of paper. With the support of CCAN, you are paving a more effective and sustainable way to address cancer care. You are agents of change. Your active contribution in this process together is critical to the success of the CCAN initiative in greater peddling, but also across the world. Because solving the most urgent and complex health challenges demands for us to work in close partnership. It demands for more engagement, more participation, more consultation. The coming months will require new approaches, shifts in traditional thinking and different ways of working in order to deliver the greatest impact and the transformative change that is needed. It's an exciting process, but it will also present its own unique challenges. But be assured that you will have the full support of the CCAN team, our cities across the world, and our partners at every step of the way. We look forward to working with you all and warmly welcome you to the CCAN community and family. Thank you, Tara Makasi. Thank you, Dr. Henshaw. As you have highlighted in your speech earlier, responding to a disease called cancer demands more from each one of us. Asia are greatly inspired to play a part on this cancer care journey. We now continue with a personal video message from Yang Bahagia Dr. Dr. Nohisam Ismail, the Deputy Director General, Medical, Ministry of Health. So let's watch the videos together. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Let me begin by thanking the City Challenge uh, team in Malaysia for giving me the opportunity to deliver this message on behalf of the Ministry of Health. At the Ministry of Health, one of the ongoing challenges that we are facing is pushing for and achieving the whole of government and the whole of society approach. When it comes to the health of the nation, everyone must be involved, not just the Ministry of Health and the health sector. Now this is because good health outcomes are strongly influenced by the wider determinants of health which lies beyond the health sector. Today, we witness the formation of partnership and collaboration between the Selangor State Government, the cities of Petaling Jaya, Subang Jaya, Shah Alam, University Malaya, the National Cancer Society of Malaysia, and City Cancer Challenge Foundation. The Minister of Health welcomes this partnership and collaboration as it translates the whole of government and the whole of society approach into real action. Ladies and gentlemen, the burden of non-communicable diseases, or in short, the NCDs, including cancer, continues to increase in Malaysia. An important strategy in moving forward is collaboration. For me, collaboration requires all parties involved to work together in achieving a common goal. Collaboration requires strong leadership, trust, 
the shared responsibilities and resources. I recently read an article about how to make collaboration work. Seven lessons from the field. Now this resonated with my experience in the past and so today I thought I'll share some thoughts with you. First, start a partnership around a problem, not a solution. Aligning on a problem helps ensure long-term buy-in. Finding commonality on these issues enables potential partners to identify the resources needed, ideas to overcome the barriers and ultimately the engagement strategies needed from key partners. Second, invest in learning upfront. It is important for partnership to understand the incentive for their partners. Right? We must research and discuss success criteria for the partnership. We must truly understand the topics for collaboration since it is vital that collaboration be grounded in realities in the field. Third, design partnership for scale. Now we look at like products, partnership can also scale and like creating new products, building partnerships can take a lot of time to launch and get right. We cannot be constantly building new collaboration from scratch every time we need to move to a new era or expand the target population. Fourth, address all pieces of the problem by partnering with businesses or the private sector. Complex issues require complex uh, solutions and to solve systemic issues we need to focus on more complex systems. The private sector has a powerful perspective on how to put different solutions together. However, from the government's perspective, we must manage conflicts of interest as well as maintain accountability and transparency. Fifth, measure what matters. As we attempt to scale a challenging solution, the result may only materialize after several years. We would need patience and resilience to stick through in solving systemic challenges. To justify this long-term investment, we must seek clarity on alignment of short and long-term indicators and targets from all key stakeholders. Six, Check your bureaucracy luggage at the door. I think this speaks for itself. The governments have a lot of bureaucracy and sometimes takes too long to respond. And yet the private sector moves fast. Now to make an impact in the field, we must adapt to the culture of the private sector. Lastly, Stay aspirational, but be ruthlessly honest. Throughout the collaboration, we must constantly ask ourselves, can a project be sustainable and scalable? Does it really make an impact? We must know when we need to re-strategize or to even stop. Ladies and gentlemen, through this MOU, it is my sincere hope that we can make significant progress to improve the quality of care for people living with cancer, the cancer survivors and their caretakers. I hope we can find new ways of working together towards the common goal of reducing the burden of cancer in Malaysia. Let me rest assure you that Ministry of Health is in firm support of this endeavor. Leaving no one behind is a key feature of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. There is not a slightest doubt that collaboration is crucial 
in helping us to achieve a world free of inequalities and injustices. Today, we are witnessing a small yet a very significant step towards that direction of C O L L A B O R A T I O N collaboration. With that, I say thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Nafizam, for the inspiring messages. So, and now comes, sorry, and now comes to the keynote address. So, for the keynote, we have a special video message from Young Ahmad, Dr. Amiruddin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon. Yang berhormat Dr. Siti Maria Mahmud, the Selangor Executive Council Member, Datuk Datuk Banda and Mayors of Selangor Local Council, Professor Dr. Sanchia Aranda, Chairman of City Cancer of Challenge or CCAN, Dr. Susan Hanshaw, CEO of CCAN, ladies and gentlemen. Sustainable healthcare is an important vision for cities in Islam. This is more urgent as the doubling of cancer cases is expected to happen by 2040, where cancer will surpass many other diseases that affect mankind. Malaysia is progressing to urban dwelling city, making 70% of Malaysians will be living in urban location by 20 times. Selangor State has the highest economy, highest population, highest standards and cost of living, thus providing unique challenges like the increasing number of underprivileged citizens and this gap is access to quality healthcare. On economic standpoint, Malaysia is currently being positioned as the Asia's hub for fertility and cardiology. Malaysia Healthcare Travel Council, MHTC, is moving towards exhibition Malaysia expertise in oncology services as well. 12 hospitals in Malaysia are JCI or Joint Commission International accredited. JCI is the recognized global leader in healthcare accreditation. In the central region alone, in Malaysia, there are 13 out of 25 MHTC hospitals that provide oncology services. Publication has shown differences in survival between private and public hospital. The poor are more likely to have late stage disease, unable to access newer drugs and fall onto, into financial catastrophe. In fact, a regional study show a third of cancer patients in the Klang Valley fall into financial catastrophe within a year of diagnosis. Of, of diagnosis. Only a fifth had medical insurance. Most of the medical hardship were not from medical care alone. In year 2017, the Department of Statistics Malaysia reported that one of the top five principal causes of deaths of Malaysia is lung cancer. For women, breast cancer is the fourth common cause of deaths in 2018 and 2017. Unfortunately, Malaysia's scorecard has missed the target with lower survival rate compared to other upper middle income countries. With the increasing incidence of cancer in, impacting Asia, estimated 50% of increase of cancer incident worldwide, we are in for a slower pandemic trajectory. Thus, providing equitable access to Malaysians become the utmost priority as mentioned by the Selangor State Health Esco in her speech of the multiple subsidies that we are provide. I applaud and glad that the CCAN Greater Petaling will invite 22 hospitals with oncologists and another 53 with specialists and subspecialist services hospital that diagnose and treat cancer in the Greater Petaling area. Selangor, Wilayah Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur and Wilayah Persekutuan Putrajaya to participate in the Greater Petaling City Cancer Challenge. This service as the first public-private collaboration in providing solutions for cancer care in Malaysia. Although health is governed federally in Malaysia, regional or city, 
do a do play a role in the non medical care support like social support transport also some welfare programs our cities have the best infrastructure in the country and have won many global accolades the role of the local government in cancer care is not just in the cancer prevention sphere i.e. regulation of smoking green spaces industrial toxin but city have many resources to support equitable access to care namely the welfare department transport digital infrastructure and unseen resources these untapped resources and leadership from our local government will anchor and support the greater petaling city cancer challenge i hope our vision for smart healthcare and well-being stream of the smart slango the smart digital infrastructure in slango can be utilized for early detection and treatment of cancer smart slango has launched in 2015 and aspire to put slango cities as smart city by year 2025 the integration and enhanced collaboration with the CCAN platform will bring about innovative design for digital solution for cancer care. We in the state of Selangor welcome this opportunity as an involved or innovative platform between smart citizen and government with local and international partnership. Agencies in the state government will support this multi-sectoral cooperation from the Ministry of Health, another national policy maker academia, government agencies, non-governmental uh, health organization, and industry guide, guided by scientific evidence to provide high level or world-class quality cancer care to our public in our city, state, and beyond. On that note, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to experience memorandum of understanding signing ceremony for Greater Petali, and I look forward to the support of all in making this great multi-sectoral collaboration a success. I hereby officially launch Memorandum of Understanding Signing Ceremony for Greater Petali. Thank you. Thank you, Yang Ahmad Berhormat, Dr. Sri Amiruddin for the keynote address. And this brings us to the highlight of the day, the official signing of the Memorandum of Understanding. As our previous speaker has highlighted, this is a significant milestone to strengthen the future of cancer care for the cities of Greater Pataan. I'm pleased to introduce the representative of the signatories. First, Mayor of City, Can City Council Subang Jaya, yeah. Town Planner Haja Norain Roslan, Deputy Mayor of City Council Pataling Jaya, Town Planner Haja Sharifa Mahaini, Mayor of City Council Shah Alam, Yang Bahagia Dato Haji Zamani Ahmad Manso, Deputy Vice Chancellor from University of Malaya for Research and Innovation, President from the Society of Malaysia, and the CEO of City Cancer Challenge Foundation, Dr. Susan Henshaw. As highlighted by YB Dr. Siti Maria, the shared commitments from various stakeholders is working towards a common goal equitable access to quality cancer care. The purpose of this memorandum of understanding is to provide a framework for cooperations between CCAN, Selangor State Government of Malaysia, via the three city council, namely Subang Jaya, Pertaling Jaya, and Shah Alam, University of Malaysia. So this MRU underscores the CCAN commitments to encourage and support the city of Greater Pataling to let on improving the health of its population while also reducing the inequality in assessing quality oncology care through a network of committed multi-sectoral partners. Now, let's watch the video montage of the MOU signing.
And now I'm pleased to confirm that NOVU has been officially signed. Now I would like to introduce someone who has been an incredible leader and advocates for cancer patients in our country, a president of National Cancer Society of Malaysia, Dr. Dr. Soundary Soma Syndrome. So please, over to you, Dr. Doctor. Thank you, Kenneth. Good afternoon, everyone. Yang Berhormat, Dr. Siti Maria, Binti Mahmud, Executive Counselor for Health, Women and Family Empowerment for Slango State, our state and city leaders and representatives, our partners and friends from CCAN Foundation, members of the City Executive Committee of Greater Pataling, members of the media, partners, colleagues and friends. It gives me great pleasure to represent the National Cancer Society of Malaysia in today's MOU launch of the City Cancer Challenge Greater Pataling. As YB Dr. City mentioned, in 2018, during the World Cancer's Leaders Summit and World Cancer Congress hosted in Kuala Lumpur, cities across the region were invited to join the City Cancer Challenge. It was a concept which was initially difficult, but once comprehended and answered to many challenges we faced in delivering equitable healthcare in Malaysia. We knew it was gonna be a difficult and challenging journey, but we saw the tremendous potential of this initiative to harness local momentum and build on the existing capacity and collaborative efforts to create, carry out and sustain a citywide strategic plan to improve cancer care. With today's launch, we are elated that the city of Greater Pataling has officially joined the City Cancer Challenge Network. Our main objective is to work together to raise the profile of cancer, starting with Greater Pataling and ultimately the whole of Malaysia. And we, at NCSM are so proud to be part of this collaboration. For more than half a century, NCSM has been striving hard to increase awareness on cancer and minimize the stigma of cancer. As a community service organization, NCSM plays an imperative role in this initiative by one, being the voice of advocacy. NCSM is a platform for patient groups to express their challenges and needs in cancer care. Through this, we are able to be that one voice to amplify the involvement of people living with cancer and help shape a much more inclusive and comprehensive healthcare system. Number two, being an enabler. As we're always on the ground working with communities, this gives us the perfect opportunities to run programs and implement policies targeting the communities. And finally, being a solutions provider. We're able to assist in bridging the gap and providing solutions to eliminate barriers in access to treatment, care and support from all levels. In conclusion, we know that if we are to make any progress in cancer control, we can't do it by ourselves. And I think that's the theme that every single speaker today has alluded to. And with CCAN, we don't have to do it by ourselves. That is the beauty and strength of the City Cancer Challenge, a model that harnesses the strengths of all stakeholders to build long-term sustainable solutions. So through this initiative with our various esteemed partners, we are indeed one step closer to better management in cancer care. Thank you so much, everyone. Back to you, Kenneth. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Sang for the inspiring speech. Thank you, Dr. Sang for sharing with us the significance of civil society role in the cancer care journey. Partnership is definitely the key. And now we would like to invite our partners from the academy. Let me welcome our final speaker for today's event, Professor Dr. Nora Sada Abdul Rahman, the Deputy Vice Chancellor of University of Malaya for Research and Innovation. The floor, the floor is yours, Dr. Nora Sada. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Kenneth. Um, good afternoon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are. Yang uh, berbahagia, Dr. Siti Maria Binti Mahmud, Selangor State uh, Executive Counselor for Health, Women and Families 
uh, Empowerment, as well as the chair of the City Executive Committee, Committee of Greater Ptaling. City and state leaders, members of uh, city uh, executives for Greater Petaling, our friends, partners, and collaborators, distinguished la ladies and gentlemen. Being uh, Malaysia's oldest university, UM embraces its vision, which is to be a global university impacting the world. UM has emerged among the world's top 100 universities and is currently ranked 65th in the 2022 QS World Ranking. The question everyone here has to ask next is where is this going? What is it next for UM? What, the, what does the work that we do uh, actually influence the policymakers? Do we aspire to work on demand-driven research rather than individual, individually driven ones? So, you know, there are a lot of questions and our mission actually is to push the boundary of knowledge and nurture aspiring leaders. We have more than 25,000 students as well as over 200,000 alumni and counting. UM uh, has uh, uh, comprehensive uh, programs uh, ranging from medicine, science to social science and humanities. Uh, and we uphold the highest standard of education and research as witnessed by various accreditations and from various institutions and professional bodies. UM also has a teaching hospital, the UMMC, which is the oldest teaching hospital in Malaysia and a leading national training center for specialist doctors, surgeons, gynecologists, hematologists, pediatric oncologists, and oncologists to better diagnose and treat cancer about 20 units in our hospital treat cancer patients. And uh, we also conduct oncology clinical trials through the UMMC Clinical Investigation Center. In response to the global health and national needs, a priority is placed on improving health and achieving equality, equity in health for all people worldwide, especially in the low and middle income countries through our part, part in the Global Health Research Program. Global Health Research Program focuses on understanding systematic factors that shape and health and provide evidences for what works. The global cancer research include assisting with the um, development of national cancer control plans to meet their cancer preventions and control targets. The UM Cancer Research Institute or UMCRI as it's formally, uh, formally known in, in UM was formed in 2009. They have embarked on several projects such as uh, the Robung project, which is, uh, the redu which is reducing barriers in cancer early diagnostic uh, in, the urban, in the urban B40 group. Okay. This is a UM interdisciplinary impact oriented research grant program or IIRG program, which funded a pilot project in Pataling Jaya involving multi-sectoral collaborators collaborations with uh, the MOH, City Council, and NGOs. The aim of this project is to provide evidence-based comp uh, for complex intervention for cancer early diagnosis in Malaysia. UMMC Cancer Re Registry that provides a point-of-care cancer registration and back then data transfer to National Cancer Registry to improve institutionally in institutional reporting uh, one of its projects. The ROSE program, which pilots a project to, uh, to assess the acceptability and feasibility, as well as reach of the novel cervical screening cancer or st strategy that utilize self-sampling in primary care setting, HPV uh, testing and follow-up of screening positive women in a tertiary hospital in Malaysia. This project has since evolved to the formation of the Rose Foundation in 2019, which is a joint venture between the University of Malaya and the VS Foundation, uh, formerly the Victorian Cytology Service Incorporation uh, in Australia, that runs the Rose Laboratory that provides centralized cervical screening services using the HPV testing. There are other contributions, uh, other centers that contribute to uh, national uh, cancer control plans uh, in University of Malaya, such as the Oral Cancer Research and Coordinating Center or the OCC RCCUM, the Center for Epidemiolo 
Epidemiology and Evidence-Based Practice and the Center for Population Health. UMCRI also contributes to the National Tobacco Control Cessation Effort uh, for, through the University of Malaya Center for Addiction Science Studies. The Nicotine Addiction, Addiction uh, Research Group, which is funded by the Grand Challenge uh, Grant of University of Malaya, is investigating gaps in upscaling existing smoking cessation services in Malaysia. The scope of training that the team developed is one of the three pathways to the national MQUIT program, a national initiative to get more people to quit smoking in Malaysia. This team, working with the University of Minnesota in the US, was only just recently shortlisted for the UK Cancer Grand Challenge uh, Grant. This multidisciplinary team is also involved in policy making by sharing prevention and intervention strategies that have su uh, been successful in other countries, such as tax increase and bans on advertising. In addition, UMCRI contributes uh, to, the stud to studying the populations that are known to be at high risk of cancer, including hereditary cancer, such as Cancer Research Malaysia, with Cancer Research Malaysia. Uh, and those associated with infection to formulate cancer control strategy based on the identification of causative uh, agents. Last but not least, the University of Malaya Center for Research in Biotechnology and Agriculture, or formerly, formerly known, known as SEBA, uh, studies the indigenous plant or products that may have some anti-cancer properties for anti -cancer, uh, potential anti-cancer drugs. These are some of the interdisciplinary research that impacts the nation. Researchers must see how their work then can link to the government strategic plans and policy and how they can create an impact to the industry and public. It is just not about publishing paper anymore. Although we focus on producing publication, case studies evaluated by Flinders University of Australia demonstrated that some research projects with non-peer review publication can lead to significant change in health policy, with the study with peer-reviewed peer publication may not necessarily result in uh, such impact. Thus, the UM Research Cancer launched the Impact-Oriented Interdisciplinary Research Grant Program in 2019 to enhance the impact of University of research in meeting the nation's expectation, projects with impact beyond academia consciously incorporating the elements of impact into their project at all stage. This requires effective early engagement between the researchers and stakeholders and research beneficiaries right from the start or the onset of the project ideation to address the real world issues relevant to societies and industries. It is at this interface between the different disciplines that create innovations, uh, creativity and innovation drives. Existing alliance and initiative forge new collaboration, new collaborative partnership as appropriate to strengthen capacity of adaptation, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of action plan for cancer control at the national, regional, and global level. Global level. The City Cancer Challenge is truly a multi-sectoral model with collaboration from MOH, non-governmental organization, professional associations, academia, research institution, and private sectors, and which can contribute to take concerted action against cancer. So with this and a, a very good uh, wishes for all the best success, I thank the organizer for inviting me to uh, address some of this issue. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Noor Sakda. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen and heard from the leaders and the experts in all different areas in cancer care, from the public authorities, government leaders, civil society, and as well as the academy, all share in the common goals to improve the health and life of the people of Greater Pataling and to the country at large. As Dr. Henshaw remarked in her speech, this MOU is more than just a piece of paper. It is through the support and contributions of the city of Greater Pataling and the health community that we can turn this commitment signed today into a future reality for all. We encourage anyone watching this who would like to get involved and learn more about the City Cancer Challenge initiative in Greater Battalion to get in touch with our CCAN team. You can also reach out directly to our city manager for the Greater Battalion, Ms. Norlin Ghazali at ghazali at citycancerchallenge.org. 
The link will be shared in the comments under the Facebook. So thank you everyone, our speakers and everyone who is watching for sharing in this occasion with us in Malaysia. We hope that we will have a chance for all of us to meet in person. Until then, on behalf of our hosts and signatories, we look forward to keep you updated on our CCAN journey over the coming weeks and months. Goodbye for now until we meet again. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Thank you.